Welcome to Bridges here at CBRC.tv. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening to all our viewers around the world. Hi, good evening, Dr. Evelyn Songko at sa mga viewers ng ating Bridges. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Another... And hello, good evening, good morning, or good afternoon to our uh, viewers on Bridges here on C. Welcome to Bridges here at CBRC.tv. Good morning. Good afternoon, good evening to all our viewers around the world. Hi, good evening, Dr. Evelyn Songko at sa mga viewers ng ating Bridges. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Again. Another... And hello, good evening, good morning, or good afternoon to our uh, viewers on Bridges here on CBRC. Hi! Welcome to Bridges here at CBRC.tv. Magandang gabi sa inyong lahat at sa mga nanonood naman sa ibang bansa, magandang umaga, magandang hapon, magandang tanghali sa inyong lahat. This show is sponsored by the DCTV Network, Legaspi, the Next Generation Connectivity, and Rex Education, and the College of Education Alumni Association, Inc., and the UST AAI. At of course, this is Evelyn Songko, and with me is Claude Despabiladera. Namiss mo ako, Claude, di ba? Kumusta? <laughs> yes, ma. Kumusta, ma'am? Because it's been months since you, the last time you had me. Medyo kinakabahan ako. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Feeling ko na excited. And happy, <laughs> happy, happy you, uh, to be back here on the show. And uh, kayo po, ma'am, how are you? <laughs> I'm good, I'm good. Alam mo ba, interesting. Interesting ang ating pag-uusapan ngayon. Do you have anybody in the house, in your home? Uh, who is still in school? Everybody's graduated, ma'am. But I guess ako po because I'm a teacher. Kaya ah, po, so nag-online. Online. Po, online uh, yeah, yes, meron. Yan ang pag-uusapan natin ngayon. Online learning. Kaya nga eh, no? Well, because of technology, talaga namang blessing yan, Claude, di ba? Then, of course, therefore, I hail those who have given birth to the internet, yung mga Zoom, yung mga StreamYard na yan, and all other uh, learning platforms. Nako, ang laking tulong yan sa sustainability ng ating learning ngayon. Kaya nga, kahit na pandemic, meron pa rin tayong eskwela. And tonight, we are invited somebody. Kasama natin ngayon, Kurt. Ipakilala mo na, please. Yes, ma'am. Our Sige. guest is a graduate. Our guest is a graduate of food service of the College of Education in 1984. Our guest tonight is Karina Galang Dakanay, Doctor in Education in Educational Management. She is the founding principal of the Good Shepherd Cathedral School in Fairview, Quezon City, Diocese of Novaliches. This coming school year will be her 27th year as principal. She is, uh, like me, a member of the Lectors and Commentators Ministry of uh, her parish, the Cathedral Shrine and Parish of the Good Shepherd. A mother of three and a very competent, compassionate, and committed school administrator, uh, she is Dr. Karina G. Dakanay. Hi, ma'am. Dr. Welcome to the show. Right. And good evening sa lahat ng ating online viewers. Uh, magandang araw, magandang gabi. Wow, welcome, welcome to the show, Dr. Karina. Happy kami ni Claude. Pare-pareho tayo from the College of Education. Nakakatuwa, di ba? Thank you for joining us, Dr. Karina. And alam ko, very challenging ngayon ang uh, ginagawa ninyo. Imagine, no? as the head of uh, the school. Imagine dumating yung K-12 
Tapos dumating pa yung OBE, kailangan natin gamitin yan. And then there is a need for you to prepare the pupils for the 21st century competencies. Nakakatuwa, ano? Napakadami talaga ng uh, ginawa ninyo sa mga nakaraang taon. No? Nag-orient kayo ng mga teachers, ng students, at saka ng parents. Tapos, dumating ang pandemya, paano ninyo pin-repair ang mga teachers ninyo para sa learning during the pandemic times? At paano sila naging komportable sa teknolohiya na ginagamit ninyo? Well, actually, Dr. Evelyn, um, yung preparation natin sa ating teachers because uh, ang unang impact nito Ang unang impact nito sa atin, uh, Dr. Evelyn, was yung nag-lockdown. So that is why uh, yung mga, mga teachers from March and then yung mag-open tayo hanggang August, uh, medyo mahaba-haba na rin yung kanilang coping at saka yung kanilang adjustment. Now, in terms of uh, preparation, we started, of course, with a survey first. Because maganda po kasi for us to be able to determine uh, kung ano yung maganda para sa teachers, para sa parents, para sa learners, may baseline tayo. And yun po yun, yung survey that we conducted, diocesan po yun. So from there, we pick it up from there and then we were able to start what preparations our teachers our learners, and our parents will need. Ano ka yung initial reaction nila? Nung mga teachers ninyo, yung mga parents, nung nagkaroon kayo Actually, ng share? Yes, ma'am. Actually, uh, sa teachers, I can compare the reaction. Alam mo, ma'am, no? pag pinasok nila, natin sila sa classroom observation. Alam mo yung reaction ng teachers na, Ma'am, ba't ka dumating? Yung something like that. Ba't ngayon ka pa dumating kahapon? Maganda yung lesson ko. Or ba't ngayon ka pa dumating? Di ako ready. Or ma'am, may quiz ako. Yung something like that. So, it really it really tells me na yung unprepared. no? Uh, it really tells us na talagang you don't know when it is coming kasi the principal would really make it a surprise. Kahit na pop in eh, gulat na gulat. So, yun yung maiko-compare ko na reaction ng mga teachers. no? Uh, yung surprised or overwhelmed. Sometimes, kung pwede lang, wag kang patuloyin sa classroom. So, that's how they, uh, no, they uh, react in the beginning. But, I can say that all the teachers responded to this online distance learning with great attitude. Mm, that is yeah. wonderful. Si Claude, tawa ng tawa yan, no? Oh. I can relate kasi ma'am. Kasi as a teacher, ayokong pumapasok yung principal ko eh para mag-observe. So, <laughs> tapos papasok pa yung on the day na parang hindi ko masyado feel yung lesson. Kaya, yeah. yeah. I can exactly. relate to it, ma'am. Exactly. Pero ma'am, how about the pupils yeah. and the parents? How did they react? Well, our learners, uh, sila yung pinaka-vulnerable, ano? Kasi uh, I, I, I see that our learners are really parang very close sa kanila yung isa't isa. Friends, yung friends. And now, uh, ma madidetach sila sa friends nila sa classmates. So, yun yung pinakamalaking impact sa kanila. And they love going to school. In fact, uh, especially the high school, ano, uh, parang ito yung sometimes sasabi ko, ito ba ang home, yung school, at yung home, yun yung school na konti lang ang oras nila doon. They really love to hang out sa school. Um, ang iba, escape yan sa bahay, no? At ang iba naman, they really enjoy being in school. And sayang yung baon, di ba? No? Yung, naku, patay na. Sa bahay lang ako. Wala ako alawan. Di ba? So, uh, uh, hindi ko, hindi ko masisave yung pera ko in something that I want to buy for myself. And those are for the uh, 
yung mga ating mga nasa high school. Sa, mm -hmm. sa lower grades naman, sa lower grades, di ba ma'am, yung, yung mga grade 1, grade 2 natin, kahit ni Bagyo, ayaw nilang uh, hiwag pumasok. Uh, ang laking mm -hmm. question mark sa kanila, bakit hindi ako papasok? Sasabihin ng parents, anak may Bagyo, but hindi, gusto ko makita si teacher, gusto ko pumasok, something like that. So, yun yung mga ano na, bakit walang school uh, sa mga younger ones? They, it's difficult for them to understand na, uh, bakit, ako pa, bakit ako sa laptop school? Something like that. Why, why is it I am on my laptop? I cannot touch my classmate. I cannot play with my classmate. So, yun yung reaction. And sa parents, ang dami pong ano, reactions. Um, familiar kayo sa mga emojis, di ba? Since a smiley. Mm -hmm. Meron, mm -hmm. meron yeah. yung reaction na yung confused kasi patay, anong gagawin ko? Eh, hindi ako marunong mag... Kasi they will be with the, the learner sa bahay, di po ba? Doon sila magkatabi. Uh -huh. Paano nila i... i i-coach, i-mentor mi anak nila, no? And then, um, ang iba naman ay uh, parang nag-o-observe, oh, teka-teka, anong gagawin natin? Paano yung kuryente ko? Paano yung uh, yung mga lahat, ilaw ko, yung aircon ko, dito sa bahay, magkano na tuition mo? Something like that, no? Aalisin yeah. ko yan. Yeah. No? And then, what Sabi about the namin. books? Opo, yes yeah. na. Yeah, that's true, that's true. Sabi nga ni Henry Penedero, sabi nga niya eh, dapat sa online learning, high tech, high touch, at saka, yes. siyempre, nag-launcher yung skelan, ano? Paano po ninyo hinandle yung mga reactions na yan ng mga uh, parents, yes. sa mga uh, students? Yes, ma'am. Uh, Doc Evelyn, uh, communication is very important. And then in communicating, merong nakikinig, merong nagsasalita. So it is a give and take uh, communication. So una kami ang nag-communicate. We inform our parents, uh, our school, the, the physical school is closed, but we are open, uh, learning will continue. We will continue and open school year 2020, 2021. So we disseminated the information. And then um, first, yung ating ano, yung balik ako doon sa, sa, sa survey, no? And then from the survey, inaral namin yon, and we created the program. We created the program. So we communicated to the parents. Ito yung ano namin. So, ito yung program. And then, the parents, um, syempre, ang initial reaction, ang una nilang i, i uh, ano, yung, yung fees. No? Would you believe, Dr. Evelina, tatlong beses yata kami nagpalit-palit, ng, nag, ano, nag revise ng aming school fees. Well, because uh, that is the, the, the product of communication. No? And that is also the product of listening no, to the parents. So, we did that and we we gave them a lot of ano series of webinars kahit 10 lang ang pumasok kahit uh, 15 lang ang pumasok hindi bale for as long as we are able to convey what we want to to explain to the parents and um we we maximize the use of the social media yung uh, fb um Ang daming mga questions na pumapasok diyan sa FB. Diyan mo makukuha yung mga questions na sometimes hindi kayang i-forward directly sa school. So what I do, yung mga staff ko and then yung nagmamanage ng FB account namin, sabi ko, kunin mo lahat yung tanong. Every week yan, I'll make a summary and I'll come up with a frequently asked questions. Isa-isa yan, weekly i Email namin yan lahat sa lahat ng parents mag-enroll o hindi mag-enroll. They they get the information that uh, ito yung uh, ito yung sa enrollment, ito yung steps, ito yung mga ibibigay namin na program, ito yung modalities, ito lahat. So meaning um ah uh, 
I think and I believe that the parents were able to understand what we want to offer and uh, what will happen for the entire school year. Um, uh, that's good, Pona. You really did that. Kasi madaling, it's easy for somebody to get lost in, in technology. Kaya mabuti, you, you really dove into it. And yeah, I agree that communication is the key para hindi kayo iwanan ng mga parents, hindi iwanan ng mga estudyante kasi na-explainin yun ng gusto. So actually, you know, unfortunately, Ma'am Sonko uh, uh, disappeared, but we hope that she could uh, rejoin us in any moment now. However, we continue, Ma'am, with a question po. Amidst the challenges of having a virtual classroom, what best things happen to your teachers, parents, and pupils? Unahin natin yung mga teachers, ma'am. Well, um, ang pinaka unang magandang nangyari, of course, ay it opened the possibilities of connecting from other schools and other guest speakers from anywhere in the world, di ba? Alam mo, Sir Claude, um, noong bago mag-pandemic, kami ng subject area coordinator ko ay supposed to be going to Los Angeles sa US. Wow. And uh, yes, no? Pero papalapit na papalapit na kasi February, ano eh, medyo akala lang natin yung parang N1H1 lang siya, di ba no sir? No Ooh. parang, ah, wala yan, ah, aalis din yan si COVID. In two weeks, wala na. Yes, yes, we will be able to cope. Trangkaso lang sa atin yan, tayo pa, Pilipino, di po ba, no? And then, yung papalapit na, you know, Sir Claude, ang alis namin ay March 11. And then Sunday na yan. Uh, normally, kapag I go uh, out of the country, buo talaga yung loob ko. But habang papalapit yung alis ko, Sir Claude, nung nagsisimba ako, nag nagsiserve ako as lector, sabi ko, uh, Good Shepherd, talaga bang makakabuti sa amin ang aalis? Parang natatakot yata ako. But nothing is impossible to you. In any snap of a finger, you will change everything. If it is not good for us to leave, please do something. Alam mo, Sir Claude, pag uwi ko sa bahay, pag open ko sa inbox, ang ASCD na communication canceled. So that was the day before naaalis na sana kami. What wow. if, what if nasa US na kami nung aking subject area coordinator, sabihin sa amin ng organizer, hello, canceled ang ating conference. Anong gagawin namin? Tapos lockdown na, di ba, Sir Claude? So, Baka hindi pa kayo nakauwi. Baka nga, no? Baka hindi kami makauwi. Now, ito yung to me, doon nagsimula, blessing na kaagad sa akin yun. Now, yan yung pinapoint out ko na before, we have to travel all the way to US to attend a conference. Now, during the pandemic, at the comforts of your home, pwede kang umattend ng, ng, ng seminar. ke international yan or ke local pa yan. And then, pwede mo pa nga attendan simultaneously lahat. ba? And uh, you all you need to pay ay yung iyong registration and you're at home. You are safe. So, yun yung unang-una. No? Yung possibilities ng yung ating ano, um, connection. And in the classroom, they can interact, our learners can interact with other learners all over the country or also anywhere in the world. Before, um, it's difficult, before it's difficult to, yung sabihin natin na, we offer different languages. Diba, Sir Claude? We offer different languages. But now, um, we can we can communicate to other parts of the world. My friend died on friend. Meron ka bang kakilala magtuturo ng French? O magtuturo ng Mandarin? O magtuturo ng Spanish? Native speakers pa yon. So, um, hindi mo na kailangan na idalhin dito yung, yung teacher. Bayaran mo housing, airfare, at saka mas mahal ang rate nila eh, kapag yung mga international uh, teachers. no I've worked in a Chinese school and then really uh, there are teachers from 
may get really native speakers of ano of, of Mandarin language. Iba yung benefits, iba yung binibigay may housing kasi wala naman talaga silang bahay dito. So, uh, those are the things na uh, ang laki ng possibility, ang laki ng possibility na hindi mo kailangan uh, mag-spend so much on the on those things. Yun po. And secondly, uh, ang teachers natin, ang teachers natin. Remember, uh, doc, Dr. Evelyn, nandiyan ka na po. Uh, yes. Remember, remember nung ang ating um, K-12 na it became into law, no? And then when this became into law, yung 21st century learning skills ay in place. No, in place. And then we tried to, you know, attend seminars. We tried to make ourselves uh, be, get acquainted with the use of technology. But how do we use technology per se? No? It is, um, uh, hindi siya ganun, ka, katulad ng ngayon, na ito ang makatotohanan use of technology like this uh virtual and then our learners are forced really to submit online and uh, they collaborate they communicate their creativity is tested and also yung critical thinking nila ay talagang na uh, yung forces ng 21st century learning ay talagang so evident no kitang kita so pwersado yung mga teachers to really get adept of the use of our technology and the same with our learners no ganon uh, yun yung magandang uh, nangyari because uh, this is our way of life already we cannot go back anymore kasi nga uh, dr evelyn uh, sir claude uh, remember yung Back to the Future na movie? Yes. 1985 yes. and then they have 1989. Yung 1989, they went to the future of 2015. And then when they went to the future of 2015, ito yon, ito yon, no? And yet, and yet, uh, we are surprised when the pandemic came. So, Double time tayo, double time, no? We really had to do double time for us to be able to cope. But see, uh, our late President Benigno Aquino put in place our curriculum, not knowing pandemic will come. And then, um, Rex, Rex, I'd like to mention Rex. Um, Rex gathered administrators all over the Philippines, Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao. And uh, they gave us a training on how 21st century learning be taught to subject area coordinators, to uh, administrators. And we went different parts of the Philippines to introduce this. And I believe that is a big blessing. Why? Because we went to Sambuanga, we went to Tacloban, we went to Cagayan de Oro, we went to Cebu, we went to Pangasinan, to Bulacan, to Panimalayan, Mindoro, everywhere. Training already, way back, way back. Wala pa yung pandemic, not knowing that the pandemic will be here now. So, uh, looking at that, um, parang nasa CPU na lang natin yung data. And when you need it, mm -hmm. i-ano mo na lang, i-kunin mo na lang. We've introduced all kinds of apps, the Mentimeter, the Kahoot, we have the, the, the Google Docs, everything. We have already introduced the Padlet, all these things. So, though it was not maximized those times na we've introduced them, at least they know, they've heard of it, they've explored it, and now, at the present time, I believe we have touched so many teachers who more or less know this uh, which means, technology. Yeah, which means that before the pandemic, well, the skills that are needed, that were actually needed, were already learned by the teachers. That's particularly in preparing the pupils for the 21st century. 
Exactly. Paano naman po yung exactly. uh, shift to online learning? Kasi before that, hindi naman masyado ang training no sa online learning. Ah, nung nagkaroon ng lockdown, na nagkaroon ng online learning trainings. Marami tayong ginawang ganyan. Ano po, what, what actually was the best thing that happened? Meron po bang uh, magandang values and attitudes na na nagkaroon ng mga pupils, ang mga teachers, kasi alam natin nagkaroon sila ng skills in terms of technology. But in terms of technology, meron po bang values na na-develop sa kanila? Ganon din po yes. ba sa, pareho po ba sa teachers and students? Yes, ma'am. I, uh, I, I would say yes. Um, yung aming uh -huh. core values, actually, Dr. Evelyn, yung core values ng buong system. We are nine schools in the system. No? The Roman Catholic Bishop of Tobaliches. And we we have these values, good heart. So that that is, or that was pre-pandemic. Naging pandemic ngayon, um, this was translated into uh, different values like um, yung understanding, more of understanding na develop no um support was developed trust was developed appreciation was developed and most of all love because if you cannot understand we don't know we don't know what's going on in each homes and if you do not understand each of your learners and you are only focused on the submissions then you will not be able to get the actual the actual performance of the learner if support is not there because the support now comes both from parents and the teacher if one if one of the two will not will be absent then i don't think it will work then trust you know ma'am trust is developed because when you give activity, and if that is graded, and if there is no trust, sabihin mo, ah, siya kaya gumawa nito? Or, oh, baka si mami gumawa. And then, of course, you have to trust your learner. You have to trust uh, the home and how the learner was able to accomplish the tasks and appreciation. Appreciation is very important, both sa learner ito and then of the of the teacher and also of the parent. Kasi parang ano tayo, medyo soft tayo ngayon, di ba ma'am? You know, kahit nga sa social media, kapag hindi ka na-like, kapag hindi ka na-heart, kapag hindi ka, wala kang kahag, di ba? No? Parang... Ah, uh, yung yung oh, moods mo, yung ba parang hindi man ako hinart, hindi man lang may like, no? Yung the need mo ako. Appreciation is very very significant as well. Wow, and of course, yeah. so, all of this Yeah, that's yes, true. Uh -huh. And then therefore, <laughs> there are values that they develop tama ba, Claude? There are values that they develop Values from the pa the parents develop, the parent the, the pupils develop, and the, the teachers also develop. Ang ganda nun, di ba? Connected silang lahat. The teachers, sabi mo nga, trust, appreciation. At siguro itong pupils, may honesty na nadidevelop, di ba? Yes. At ganun din naman yes. parents. May caring yes. na nadidevelop. Mas conscious ba sila ngayon, uh, Dr. Karina, na partner sila ng eskwelahan, mas malakas oh, yes. ba ang message na yan? Yes, Dr. Evelyn. Kasi, um, if not, magkakagulatan pagdating sa dulo. Um, yes. What we did, oh. what we did was, um, kasi, uh, sabi natin, give leeway, and then, um, be patient, just wait until they will be able to finish. And then what what we did in school was we put it in we put everything in place every quarter. So pag mm -hmm. tapos ng quarter na to, we have to go back to the parents and then say, mm -hmm. uh, "Mommy, dahil ito po yung performance. Now we have mm -hmm. to do something about this." So if mm -hmm. not, kasi if not, magugulat sila pagdating sa dulo ay naku bumagsak na kami. Yung something like that. So at least. Uh, at least Yes. Gusto ko, excuse me ha, Dr. Karina. 
Gusto yes. kong uh, ulitin yung sinabi mo. Ay, bumagsak na kami. Wow. Yes. Nakakatuwa yes. yun. Kasi yung parents, meron na rin siyang uh, kami. Hindi lang yung anak niya, kasama na siya ngayon. Nakakatuwa yung pag-isipan, ha? Na yung yes. mga parents, pag hindi maganda performance ng uh, pupils, meron na silang kami. Ang sabi kanina, yes. gusto kong balikan yung sinabi ni Dr. Henry eh. Sabi niya, uh, high tech, high touch. Doon sa high touch, hindi ba nagkakaroon tayo, Claude, ng uh, opportunity, mga teachers, that despite that we are using technology, we are actually uh, having opportunities to develop the human character of the pupils while using the technology. Ano ang naging experience ninyo dyan, Dr. Karina? Well, our learners became, um, because we want to, uh, we want to introduce to them yung kanilang number one, number one, self-care. Self-care is number one. We embraced kasi the, ano eh, the, the whole child pedagogy. And then there are five tenets of this. And first is health, healthy and safe. So number one is self-care. And then next, your mindfulness. Mindfulness. They have to be mindful of their parents. They have to be mindful of the other siblings, the, the family, because the classroom is at home. So they have to be mindful. Mm -hmm. And then they have also to be mindful of their schoolmates. Because when they are all in front of the uh, computer, um, may iba uh, nag-open ng, you know, you know ma'am, no matter how million times sabihin ng teacher, if you will not uh say anything uh i have we have to mute we have to mute and there are learners that in the beginning huh, in the beginning they don't they are not aware no they're not aware that hindi sila naka mute so hindi sila magkaintindihan now we practice mindfulness you have to be sensitive of the needs of others, your needs, because what you need may also be the need of others. So you have to be mindful para uh, makamove forward tayo because if not, then hindi talaga, hindi talaga tayo makaka-accomplish of something, of something na kailangan natin ma-accomplish. Yeah, maganda yung sinabi mo, Dr. Karina, no? Yung caring, ang ganda na sinabi mo na yan, na nako-conscious ka, na kailangan yung iba, uh, you have to also think about them. No? At yan ay nangyayari kahit na virtual classroom, nangyayari yan. Claude, meron kang uh, tatanong or something? Actually ma'am, yeah. I just want to say also na um, in uh, virtual classroom, ma to, to a large extent na develop yung independence ng no, mga students saka yung kanilang uh, being considerate of each other and the teacher para as you said ma'am makausad yung lesson saka otherwise they will be left behind pag pag ya yeah, isa to sa mga pwede nating tingnan para mas ma-entice tayo sa idea of uh, online education because as you said and as many people have been saying it seems like we'll be having this for a much longer time yet hindi ba po ma'am mm -hmm. uh -oh. So, ma'am, would you consider it uh, a victory of humanistic education? Would you, and what are your thoughts on this, po, uh, Dr. Dakanai? Well, um, very timely uh, to me, to me, very timely for the diocese, no? uh, for our system, the Roman Catholic Bishop of Novaliches educational system, that we embraced the AUCD called child pedagogy. Because here we focus on the child, we focus on the child, and uh, we really have to begin with the self on how they develop what you said, what you mentioned, yung independence, and then yung self care. And then if the child feels that 
he or she is safe and healthy means it's not yung mataba ako but it's yung healthy yung mind healthy yung environment healthy yung relationship between the teacher and the learner kasi kapag hindi healthy hindi yun safe no and then if that is ano if that is the 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 direction i believe so that with this uh with this technology and the pedagogy that uh, we have embraced i i would say that uh, there it is a victory it is a victory because we have prepared our learners we tried to prepare our learners to really uh be someone or something in the future kasi nga uh, sir claude uh, i would remember yung sinasabi ni tony wagner na um it is not what you know that matters. So, you we may know all the kinds of apps, pero kung hindi natin alam gamitin ang gamit nito, then para saan? We may know everything about encoding, decoding, and all this all this stuff. Makakapagtatakbo tayo ng robot, but if the robot is, for example, yung na-develop natin sa COVID, that they can bring medicine, that they can bring support to the patients, that is a good robot. But what if the robot will uh, bring out missile to the sky and then matunaw tayo sa Pilipinas? And that is not a good technology at all. So what Tony Wagner is saying is, it is not what you know that matters. But it is what you do with what you know. So uh, we are teaching, we aim that uh, we teach this to our learners so that when they go out and they go to the school of life, they know the difference of the two. Ma'am, as a follow-up to what you said, you know, one of the concerns pagdating dito sa online learning is that parents feel that it hampers the holistic development of uh, the children. So, ma'am, kayo po, base sa experience niyo, how can the teachers provide for holistic development in a virtual classroom? Well, uh, as I said, it is not only uh, the teacher's responsibility. It is parang mag-asawa yan. Uh, it should be the home and the school. Kasi kahit ano naman ang gawin namin, make the child whole. Diba kami? Whole child learning. Diba? No? Whole child approach. Kahit anong, anong gawin namin buo dyan. But if the home will not be able to embrace also what we want for the child to become, then we will not be successful on that. Kaya nga, ito yung maganda eh. Ito yung maganda, blessing din sa pandemic kasi sa ayaw sa gusto na magulang, kasali sila sa game. Hindi pwedeng hindi. Kailangan uh, home, ang school, ang teacher, ang parent. Isa dyan ang wala, then uh, medyo may magkakaproblema. Kasi the learner cannot do it alone. He needs his parents at home. Yeah. He needs support at home. That is so true. Oo. And then, yes. kasi uh, Kaya... Dr. Evelyn... If, Dr. Evelyn, gusto ko nga ito idagdag. Naalala ko lang, no? Nung hindi pa pandemic, sometimes, no, na-experience nyo ba yun, Dr. Evelyn, yung alas 5 pa lang yung bata nasa school na. Tapos, mm -hmm. alas 6 na ng gabi, hindi pa nasusundo si bata. So, parang, uh -uh, sabi na isip ko, ako, hindi rin ako makauwi basta-basta. Ba't andito ka pa? Kasi syempre nakakatakot naman iwan yung bata sa school. Baka may mangyari sa kanya. Pero hindi pa nasusundo ng parent. Okay, so mas mahigit pa kami sa daycare. Diba? Yung pang, uh, ang pasok ay eh, alas 7.30, alas 5, nandyan na siya. Ang uwian, alas 4, yeah, alas 10, so na siya. So, so, uh, so, so, naiwan, naiwan sa amin yung responsibility of everything. O, eto na yung anak namin. O, sige, uh, papasok na kami. Balikan na lang namin ulit. But now, no more. No more. Ang ganda kasi uh, sa yeah. bahay, andyan oh, oh. mommy at daddy, sa school, oh, andyan naman kami. That's true. That's true. So, there is no more problem like that. O, oh, because we do not have much time anymore, just one very, very simple uh, final message to our viewers, Dr. Karina. 
we have learned much no tonight we saw we that yeah. in the use of the virtual classroom there is really a partnership between the school and the parents there are values which are developed by the faculty or the teachers the parents and the students and of course i think the administrators so isang linya lang po na final message sa ating viewers well, because we love uh, time. So. Okay, uh, Dr. Evelyn, I want to end with gratitude because you will never know what blessings are if you don't know how to be grateful. Yes, thank you so much. Indeed, technology is a blessing, and the virtual classroom is the way we go these days, and therefore, we all cooperate in making this virtual classroom uh, work so that we can develop the whole person in our pupils. Thank you very much, Dr. Karina. Claude. Thank you. Thank you very much, Dr. Karina. And of course, thank you to the DCTV Network and College of Education Alumni Association Incorporated for sponsoring our show tonight. Bridges can be viewed on our YouTube channel, CBRC TV, USC Alumni Bridges, and also to our fellow alumni, please follow us on Facebook, USD Alumni Association Incorporated. Visit our, our website, usdalumniassociation.org, and support our Thamashian Alumni Community Exchange, TAC Exchange, our online marketplace where Thamashian sellers and buyers meet. Contact us at our Facebook now. And, you know, for every purchase you make from the TAC Exchange, you donate to the USD AAI Advocacy for Quality Education, Disaster Response, and Environmental Sustainability. And to our alumni who like their products to be included in the TAC exchange or to purchase any of the items from it, you may contact Ms. Ses San Juan at 0917-596-0742. And of course, thank you to Alex for our episode poster. Meron po tayong ongoing Thamashian Advocates the digital poster making contest. The title of the series of contests is Kalikasan. The title or the theme of the ongoing contest is Environmental Health and Sustainable, a world in the 21st century. This contest is sponsored by the Basic Environmental Systems and Technologies, Intramuros Administration, Art Yuan, uh, Architects, Ar Architects, Equipai and Associates, Anino Design and Agos Media. This contest is open to all Thomasians. Deadline of submission is August 7, 2021. Congratulations to the USD AAI Advocacy Committee and Thomasian Alumni Leaders Association, Bida ng Pandemia Team. They have completed the distribution of the USD AAI tokens of appreciation to our frontliners in 11 hospitals in Metro. Manila. The COVID-19 field hospital Luneta was the last to receive the tokens of appreciation. Congratulations to the USD Nursing Alumni Association Inc. for having brought the Reyes hair cutters to Hospital Nang Tundo last July 1 and USD Hospital last July 2 to give our very busy frontliners free Haircut. Imagine, wow. ah, that was a great idea. Huh? Okay, salamat sa lahat ng vida ng pandemia. And of course, support our Advocacy for Quality Education, donate a beautiful storybook entitled Cargasus, authored by Father Ed Alaurin, OP, to any public school of your choice. Contact Dr. Marilyn Cano at 917 one one zero three and thank you to all the cbrc administration and staff join us once more next sunday july 11 at 6 p.m to learn about hydroponics with emmanuel alipio God? here on bridges we do not build walls we build connections connections of people and knowledge and here at bridges we build bridges of faith Bridges of hope, bridges of love. Thank you very much, everyone, for tuning in and 
of course, enjoy the rest of the evening. Have a great week ahead of us. Mabuhay. Welcome to Bridget here at CBRC.tv. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening to all our viewers around the world. Hi, good evening, Dr. Evelyn Songko, at sa mga viewers ng ating Bridges. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Another... And hello, good evening, good morning, or good afternoon to our uh, viewers on Bridges here on CBRC.